Hello, and welcome to the tutorial on Credit Check for Orders. This tutorial is beneficial for the order entry team, credit department analysts, and accounts receivable analysts. As a credit analyst, you come across scenarios wherein a customer exceeds the credit limit allotted to him either by placing an order for such an amount or by ordering without settling previous dues. In such a case, a credit check has to be done for every order, and the order has to be put on hold to save our company from giving any more credit without repayment. And in this video, we'll try to understand the importance of the usage of a credit check and order hold in Oracle, and how it helps the customer's orders to be processed, as well as getting insights on key parameters that control it. Let's begin with understanding the various setups for a credit check. In the main menu, we'll go to Setup, Order, then Payment Terms to define a payment term, which is all the payment-related setups like the duration, the late fees, etc. We'll also enable Credit Check for that particular payment term. Let's check if a payment term exists already. We'll type in 30% and press Enter, which basically searches for all the payment terms that allow payment of a part due in 30 days included in them. Here is a payment term 30 bar 60 bar 90, which means that one-third of the payment is due in 30 days, another one-third in 60, and the final one in 90 days as shown in the description. It even has credit check enabled for it, which allows for credit check to occur when this payment term is applied. We'll go forward with it in this case as it fulfills our needs. In absence of a payment term with credit check, we would have either edited our pre-existing payment term by clicking on the credit check flag or created and saved a new payment term with the particular criteria enabled. 